We don't even get taught the national anthem in school. I remember when I went to America, <laughs> when I was 13 years old, me and my brother went to America to live there with my nan. And I went to school and in the school, we had to like stand up and say the national, the American <laughs> national anthem every morning. Hi guys, so we're back again after a break. My little miss Zakaya started getting a bit rowdy. So I had to just, you know, whip it out and give her a bit of milk. Seeing as she's not taking the bottle. She puked on me, everything, but she's in bed. So let's get back to our conversation, Issa. Okay. Big people time. Yeah, it? Babies went to bed properly. Right, so you've been listening to me going about the royal family, yeah? And at first I was just thinking, you know, they don't affect us in any way. They don't have a say on our life. They're not the government, yeah? Mm -hmm. But then, I remembered, because, and I think a lot of our overseas listeners will know, not just Americans, we have other people that listen, yeah? But we've, we're going through austerity right now, yeah? Where the government spend less on public services on purpose, and like, they change up the tax system and make you pay make more. you pay more tax and you can't claim for this and they you know yeah because the, the, the tax went up by two point five percent. What ta- oh VAT yeah yeah you see what I mean two point five percent is a lot of percentage to go up on for, everything that yes, you buy exactly. that's a lot of money before like we don't even know like everything gets done the VAT is just in it it's not like in America where they add yeah, it at the till yeah yeah it's just in the price it's in the price but you can tell because the sh- petrol Tesco I don't yeah, care I'm baiting it up baiting up the brand you're making sure Tesco, you say that Tesco yeah I used to buy shopping in Tesco online shopping and now I don't shop there no more because tutus I see the prices are just creeping up, creeping up, creeping. And it's not, I'm sorry, but I used to love to buy salmon from there. You know, I could get my standard, you know, tray of salmon for three pound for like two nice fillets, which is to me, that's a reasonable price. Sometimes you get like the four pieces for six pound. Don't tell me you went, let's have 75p. 75p yeah for two it's like nah man you're, you're, you're taking and then mickey. when you take that yeah and then you add the fact that everything else has gone up that 75p becomes an extra 30 pounds every so, week that you need to now spend yeah yeah and it's to do it's not just to do with the royal family but it's like when they decide this stuff and then they go and they they say what they're going to do as a government, the Queen is there for the really important stuff. Mm. And like she was like, yeah, okay, we have to do austerity. We're all in this together. But they're not in it with no. us. The government are not in it with us and the royal family are not in it with us because they still get to spend the same. The government, they get to, to have, they have their... Um, what is it called when you have like you they get to have their expenditure their yeah that, they what get what do you call an, they it get an, a budget they have their they, own they're allowed personal to have budget. their budget they they shouldn't have no budget because they get paid and you don't see me or I don't see Issa going to work as a bus driver yeah and he still has a, a bus driving budget as well for if if anybody gets out of line or yeah. if he has to stop the bus for a certain amount of time you can go and get a coffee or something there's no extra <laughs> budget you get paid so you use your money in it yeah. And it's enough money for you to live on. But no, they get the they get a budget. So the austerity falls on the people who have less money. Yeah. The, the, just like the general public. What like, do they call us? The, the 90 something? I think it's a 95%. The 95%. Hmm. It's disgraceful, man. And you know, talking about MPs, they also have a budget for like a driver. They, they get to like rent out a second home. And that's what... The, the, like, the worst thing, hold that thought for me, the worst thing is that a few years ago, loads of them got found out for abusing their system. Second house, you know. Sec. <clears throat> Anyways, let me, yeah. not, let me not go into it. Either. And, like, that's... All and they, of they them... don't get fired. No, they don't, do they? They don't get fired, though. And if they do get fired, they've made enough connections... And they can get, get another rich job. Some, uh, and some the, other house. But either way, they're already rich. I think we need to be more like MPs. Just not care about people. And just I would make never. Loads of money. I will never. 
I will never. And then people say, because there's people out Cause there in the lying. media. Because they're lying. MPs yeah? are really liars, really. They, they, and they go out and they, lie. They eloquently lie. Yes. <laughs> you know, and they're, they're, the way that our government works, it's not like we tell them what we want. Yeah. And then they say, okay, well, everyone is saying this. So like, this is not a democracy. They, they, they go and they say, this is what X people, this is what my constituents are saying. Mm. It's not like that. People tell them stuff, whatever, and then they, they go listen. and they decide. They don't, they <laughs> it's don't not listen. Like they a act like they do, but they don't, they don't really care. Yeah. And it's, do you know what? It's reality. And to be honest, it also depends, like, how much money you make. Basically, it depends on how much money you make. I was going to list other things, but if you make X amount of money, you're okay. You're all good. If you make less, the tax you pay is a is actually it works out worse for you. You know, it's mad. You People know that song, nowadays back in when Miller from Jamaica gone a foreign pun tour. No, that's going a bit too far though. But it basically it says rich is getting rich and the poor is getting poor. Yeah. It, like at the end of the day, that's that is what it is. The richer get richer, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer because the money is always being taken from the poor people. It's never taken from the rich. And you know what else is funny? The media who come into this kind of thing, this process, they make those people that are struggling Hmm. think, oh, yes, that's right, treat the rich people nicer because when rich people get treated nicer... They then spend it their trickles money. down, like you lies. Know, all the money is at the top, and it trickles it down trickle to down. us. Because rich, the rich people are quite stingy. Trust me, they're stingy. Have you seen? Have you seen some of these rich people's children's clothes? You're funny. No, I'm sorry, but it's the truth. Sometimes like, you see rich people, yeah. Their little, their little children have got ankle swingers, like some, like they make sure that they wear the, the. Everything out of that clothes, they get. You're talking full about. Wear. You're not talking about rich. I'm talking about middle class, more people. Yeah, aren't yeah I'm talking even, more about middle class. I do people. know what's funny. Like, but they say they make sure it, that term. Those terms are getting a bit dated, like middle class. Yeah, that's that, yeah. That, that's why I, I know what rich. you mean. I well, I should say people it. with a bit of ex- exposable income. Yeah, people with more they expo- the, exposable they're income. They're with their money. You see their children, yeah, and I'm not saying like. There's nothing wrong you with see their it, children. Though. Like it's like the ch- the clothes that the children have got on are probably they're good. They're clothes. probably premium clothes, but they make them wear it to till their sleeves are up, their legs are up at their ankles. The socks you can tell the socks the heel doesn't go on the heel. The heel probably falls somewhere between the heel and the arch. They make sure their kids wear their clothes, and you know another thing they do, they. They take other people, they take their friends' clothes and, you know, sweet. I think most, a lot of people do that anyways, mm. but they're quite stingy with their money in, in, a, in a good way. It yeah. helps them. I mean, I think, because before I used to think that and I used to be like, yeah, da, 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 da. But then at the end of the day, those are the kind of people that have a good house mm. and have a good job and have a car and they can afford everything. Okay, and they don't have issues with money. But why was I say I was saying that because of something you were saying, and I forgot why I said it. I said, I said what I was saying is rich people are stingy with their money. I was basically talking about something about them spending money. Oh yeah, the trickle down. Yeah, okay. so they say it will trickle down, but it won't trickle down because they're stingy with their money. They're not spending their money uh, frivolously because that's how they became rich, mm. which is very, very smart. I wish I could be more like that. I, I think most people should be more like that. Yeah, but live, when live they try and come, th- when they try and come with this trickle down effect, nothing came trickling down. But it's, they're it's keeping not even their to money. do with them. It's to do with the very rich people. So they say like we have to look after the bankers. We have to look after like the people that make loads of money. We have to give them tax breaks. Starbucks. We have to, yeah. We have the to big give these, businesses. We, we can't really punish these companies because then they're gonna go overseas. I'll be happy with the massive companies that don't yeah, pay tax. Go overseas. Go. Yes, like, let me open up go. my own coffee shop. Everyone yeah, come to me like, instead. You go to these places and you mess up the 
local economy because exactly. you come with like a Starbucks or a coffee shop or something that we don't need anymore mm. and disrupt everything. And then like when we find out that they're not paying tax, it's like, okay, well, we like when they don't get chased. Like if we owe tax okay, as we'll a normal just pay working person, back. normal working person pay tax, yeah, in the, in, in the UK, yeah, you are getting hunted down for your money. They're going to hunt you, they're going to penalise you everything. But the bigger companies, it's like, oh, we're not really going to do this, you know. Like you said, they pay half. They'll be, they'll be lucky to pay half. They'll pay 10